Dasher pay continues to go down while DoorDash just barely hit a record number of orders and revenue for 2023. What's up guys, my name is Blake Moore. Welcome to More Driven. On this channel, I talk all things gig work. I've been doing gig work for almost six years now. So I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as I've learned over the years. So hopefully you can make as much money as possible. And just today, February 15th, DoorDash released their earnings report for quarter four of last year. And there is some very telling stuff in this report. I wasn't even planning on making this video. I originally had a different video planned to come out for today, which is, you'll be watching it on the 16th of February. But originally I had a different video planned because I'm doing that seven day series that sparked from the DoorDash strike. But I saw this, I read through their earnings report and I figured I just had to talk to you guys about it and let you know what I'm seeing in this thing because it's pretty crazy. So tomorrow's video will resume that seven day series that I was doing and also I will be going live sometime in the evening. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I will make a community post saying exactly when I'll be live because I'm only probably gonna be live for like 30 minutes to an hour maybe and I just wanna talk all things DoorDash and answer you guys' questions See if I can help you guys out, give you some value in any way I can. I thought we could talk about the DoorDash strike, some other thoughts on that, and maybe some different things going forward for DoorDash in 2024. So I think that'll be really fun. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's get into this earnings report because like I said, there's a lot of stuff that we can decipher from this. And there's a lot of confusing things when it comes to this earnings report. Because in 2024, I've seen a lot of DoorDash drivers not being able to make as much money as they have in years past. And that was part of the reason why there was that strike that went on and why there's just so many things about fair pay for drivers. And that's not just DoorDash, that's Uber and Lyft as well. But let's just go into this earnings report real quick. So this says fourth quarter 2023 key financial metrics. Total orders increased 23% year over year to 574 million. So 574 million orders in the fourth quarter of 2023. So I believe that's October, November, and December. There was just in those three months, 574 million orders. And that was up 23% from December of 2022. And this is actually insane. I'll scroll down a little bit and you can see, I guess it only goes back to the past year, but it literally shows every single quarter the number of orders is just increasing. And what's also crazy is that since in 2023, quarter four, the orders were up 23%. And you can see that in quarter four of 2022, they were up 27% from 2021. That means since 2021, December of 2021 to December of just this past year, a couple months ago, the number of DoorDash orders has increased by 50%. That is crazy because I don't know about you guys, I have not seen my orders increasing or the amount of orders that I'm receiving on my phone increasing at all. And something I forgot to mention when I was originally recording this was how crazy this is because this was the first time I believe they hit above pandemic levels of orders. And so I guess that means they have hired so many more dashers because I know in the pandemic, you could get orders constantly all the time, make good money. And now it seems like it's way harder. So that means that they must have oversaturated the markets a ton because we are now getting more orders than what it was at the pandemic. Yet it seems like there's way less orders and we're making less money. So they must have really, really gone out and just signed up a bunch of people, let everyone off the wait list, it seems like and just oversaturated the crap out of these markets because I'm definitely not making as much as I did during the pandemic. And I'm sure almost everyone out there isn't making that much either. It seems like things are all time slow right now, yet this is telling otherwise, obviously. And it's not just the total of orders that continues to go up. You can see right here, it says revenue increased 27% year over year to 2.3 billion and net revenue margin increased to 13.1% from 12.6% in quarter four. So the revenue since December of 2022 has gone from 1.8 billion 
to 2 billion to 2.13 billion to 2.16 billion to 2.3 billion. And that is the amount they make each quarter. That's not just going from 2 billion to 2.1 billion, meaning they made 100 million that quarter. It's meaning that every single quarter they made the 2 billion. And then the next quarter they made 2.1. And then now we're at $2.3 billion made in just those three months. And so where is all that money going? It's just interesting to me that their revenue and the orders continue to go up pretty significantly. I mean, just two years, 50% growth. And yet our base pay continues to just decrease. It was $3, then $2.50, then $2 is what it is right now. Now we're also seeing a dollar fifty and $1 base pay on the stack orders. So it just continues to go down every single year. While the orders increase, supposedly, and also the revenue that's coming in is increasing. So again, I asked the question, where, where are they spending all of their money? But anyway, basically, they spent a lot on marketing. They spent a lot on hiring more people. And once again, for quarter four of last year, they were not profitable. So they were in the negative. And this is actually a strategy that a lot of businesses use so that they don't have to pay taxes. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of it all, but I do know that if you report a loss because you spent a lot of money on marketing or new hires or just putting the money back into the business, then you don't have to pay any taxes. So I think that's why they keep reporting losses, but it's just frustrating because they're not putting any of that money back into their independent contractors. And it's actually funny because their stock fell like 6% after the market closed today because their earnings report came out and shareholders saw that once again, they were in the negative. But listen to this. This is what they say as to why they reported another loss. This article says DoorDash's rising labor costs weigh on quarter one profit outlook. Shares fall. DoorDash on Thursday forecast a quarterly profitability metric below Wall Street expectations hurt by higher labor costs that overshadowed a surge in delivery orders, sending its shares down over 8% in extended trading. The delivery firm, which also reported a wider than expected loss for the fourth quarter, and did December 31st, has increased minimum pay for its delivery workers. <laughs> oh, they, they really like to report things that are just not very factual because it's just talking about the increase for New York workers, how their earned by time pay went up to $29.93. And then it says, we are absorbing some of the regulatory costs in quarter one. It says, its total costs and expenses climbed 9.3% in the fourth quarter. So they're spending more on stuff and they report that they increase their labor costs because they're paying dashers more. But that just is not true. I mean, maybe in one city, they increased the earn by time. But yeah, just kind of some more sketchy stuff going on with DoorDash. It's just kind of crazy to me how... They can continue to grow, continue to get busier, continue to get more people on their platform, continue to get more people subscribed to DashPass, which hit, I think, over 20 million monthly users, monthly subscribers at like $10 a month. So that's a huge amount of money. Where's our pay in that? Because when people pay for DashPass, it waives a lot of the delivery fees. So are we getting any of the DashPass money? Like, that's what's interesting with a DashPass user is when they're not having to pay the delivery fees, whose paycheck is that coming out of? I'm assuming it's ours because when they introduced DashPass is when they lowered the base pay from $3 to $2.50, I think. And then they lowered it again to $2. And it was right at that same time that they released DashPass to DoorDash customers. So they only had to pay $10 a month and you got like no delivery fees. I mean, I've been a DashPass subscriber because if you just order like once or twice, throughout the entire month, then you're saving a lot of money. But I'm just wondering, did they waive the delivery fees because they just lowered every single driver's base pay? So it just seems like they continue to try and skimp on the amount of money they are paying towards their drivers while simultaneously they are just pouring in the revenue. I could understand like, hey, we'll give up a little bit of our money for a little bit of time so that you guys can dump it into marketing and grow DoorDash so that there's a lot of orders on the platform. DoorDash has the biggest market share. I get all that. But like at some point, are they ever going to raise that base pay again? Are they ever going to pay us 
more because the DoorDash business and the DoorDash brand continue to grow. So I'm just wondering if that's ever going to come back in our pockets, if we will ever see the base pay go back up or even higher than $3 to compensate for all these years of lower pay for us. I mean, obviously I don't think that's going to happen, but it is just interesting how DoorDash going up like this while Dash or Pay continues to go down. I mean, we might even see every single order at $1.50 base pay by the end of this year, which would suck, but I could see DoorDash doing it. So anyways, just thought I'd make this video. If you guys found it valuable, make sure you subscribe. We got great videos coming up for the rest of this week and also make sure to stay tuned for that live that I'm doing tomorrow on Saturday. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next video.